Hydrothermal explosion rocks Yellowstone. It won't be the last. The trails in Yellowstone National Park's Biscuit Basin have long been a peaceful place to stroll and admire the geysers and hydrothermal pools that draw thousands of tourists each year. But Tuesday morning, an explosion reminded everyone that the park is home to an active geological wonderland where water, heat and pressure aren't always kind to visitors. It wasn't a typical geyser eruption or the roar of Yellowstone's supervolcano, but a hydrothermal explosion. This explosion wasn't the first in the park, or in Biscuit Basin. Geologists recorded a small explosion around the Black Diamond Pool in 2009, which sent mud and debris flying across the surrounding area. The latest explosion was much larger. When I saw the first video online, I was shocked at the height of the water jet and the number of large projectiles, said University of California, Berkeley, geologist Mara Reed. Visitors to the area were fortunate that several of these explosive features, such as scalding hot water jets, didn't rain down on fleeing crowds. This is probably the largest hydrothermal explosion to occur near a trail in the modern history of the park, and I think it's fortunate that no one was hurt," Reed said. A change underground caused the explosion to happen suddenly. The critical event that triggers a hydrothermal explosion is when water underground suddenly flips to steam due to a sudden drop in pressure. The rapid change from water to steam, in turn, creates tremendous pressure, enough to break through the crust and throw rocks as wide as three feet into the air. The hot water in a hydrothermal system is under pressure and can be very close to the boiling point, Reed said. Something as simple as a new crack forming or debris thrown by tourists into a hydrothermal feature can change the pressure inside, creating the conditions for a flash. That steam takes up more space underground than water, Reed noted, and because it has nowhere to go, the trapped gas causes the explosion. The conditions that trigger the sudden change from water to steam vary depending on unknown details underground. While the explosion has garnered national attention, it's not the first of its kind. Hydrothermal eruptions are a regular part of the interaction between water, heat and rock that creates and reshapes the pools, geysers, mud pots and other features that make Yellowstone unlike any other place in the United States. Small hydrothermal eruptions occur almost every year. Just one day before the Biscuit Basin eruption, Geologists at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory announced that they had found evidence of a small hydrothermal eruption at the park's Norris Geyser Basin that occurred on April 15, 2024. The eruption left a crater about three feet in diameter and drained several nearby hot springs. Occasionally, however, geologists have recorded larger eruptions, like the one at Biscuit Basin or even larger ones like the park's famous Porkchop Geyser eruption in 1989. The bottom of Yellowstone Lake contains craters from more ancient hydrothermal eruptions. The largest of these craters formed 13,800 years ago and is about 1.5 miles wide. 